So we've just got some period uh, 19, I think these are late 50s, early 60s mannequins, which are quite difficult to get. They're all made out of um, fiberglass and they crumble very easy, fiberglass and plaster. And we're just doing the front windows. So this was an empty room originally, so it's become Angela, who is a immigrant that lives in Redfern. This is Ryder's, or Mr. Ryder's office. He is the CEO of Goods. So period uh, costumes that came from the costume designer and also from the art department. Accessorised handbags, shoes, had to get someone to do the wigs for us for the hairstyles of the day. I found these chairs, which is a bit of homage to David Jones with the black and white hound's tooth, and I thought that would be a little bit fun. We did curtains, the furniture, and then we come into her bedroom, which on the right you'll see we've just made Angela a character. She does a lot of sketches, she works at goods. And this is sort of her little study area here. We've got the reception desk, which we built. The rest we bought. Like the, uh, the seating, the paintings all came from an antique shop. Her character is uh, Lebanese. So we tried to get some um, graphics done on some Lebanese magazines that she's taken the cover off. Yeah, that is it. But the windows were fairly, they weren't as, as elaborate as what they are today. They weren't sort of like Harrods or anything. They were a little bit, you know, basic back then. And um, this is our main window. Jono. There's my trusty assistant, Jonathan. So I, th I think we'll move one behind because don't they have to come through? I'll move it over that way. Yeah, that, yeah. Move it back a little bit, please. That one, that column there, yep. That's it, thank you. Perfect.